Hello, I am Susan. Welcome to my videos on the Majorica method of decorating ceramics. This is my second video and it's on how to prepare tiles with a glazed base. I'm going to separate my videos into two sections. One will cover plates, pots and lids and the other will cover tiles. This is the first section on how to put the glazed base on tiles. There are several ways of doing this. Dipping, using a spray or pouring. I use the method of pouring. For pouring you have quite a lot of things to do. You have to sound the tiles, clean the tiles, put the glazed base on the tiles, clean off the unwanted glazed base and repair any damages. There's a lot of work, so let's start working. Cover the table with a large piece of plastic. Put two bars of wood and the brush to clean with. Put the tiles you want to prepare on top of the wood on the right. There are 30 tiles. First sound your tile. Hold it underneath and with a finger tap it. If the sound is high it's not broken. If the sound is flat it's broken and don't use it. Now you have sounded all the tiles and they are on the left. Pick them up one by one and brush them. Front, sides and back. Put them on the, same, the other side and continue doing them all. On the right of the container put plastic, a bar and the tiles prepared to use on top. On your left put a plastic and three bars of wood. The tiles when they have been prepared will be put on top and left to dry. Take the lid off the container and you can see that the water and the base have separated. To take off the water you need a plate that is slightly curved and a large bowl to keep the water in. With the plate scoop the water out of the container and tip it into the bowl. Go on taking it out. It's better to take too much out, out because it's always be put back again. But if there's too much in you have to wait for an hour and a half for it to separate it. Now I think I've taken out enough. You have to mix the glaze base before starting to work. Stir it until there are no lumps on the wall, the floor or floating. Now it's ready to use. To begin you must check the density of the glaze. You need two bars of wood, a bowl and a tile. Dip the bowl into the glaze, lift it up and tilt it over the left hand corner. So it runs down the left side and across the tile. Now lift up the tile and look at the back. Don't touch the front. This is correct. If the glaze is all around the edge in large lumps, it needs more water. If it's spread all over, it means it's too thin. Another way of checking the glaze is with a very, very thin piece of wire, scratch it. And you can see the thickness. Now stir it so it is completely mixed and during the preparation of the tiles keep doing this to make sure the glaze and the water are not separating. Put the tiles onto the wood. Pick up the glaze, tip it over the first tile so it completely covers it and then do the same with the next. This is a close-up of the glaze drying. You can see the dampness shrinking. Once dry it can be moved safely. Move the tiles onto the bars of wood. Continue preparing the tiles until the three bars are full. Pick up the tiles one by one and put them into the shelves to dry.
When putting the tiles on the shelves, put them on the highest one first, so if any glaze is scraped off, there are none underneath that can be damaged. If the bars get very thick with glaze, pick them up and clean them on top of the bowl. Into the bowl with the water that has been scooped off, with a spatula scrape the glaze off the bars. Continue preparing the tiles. If you move them while they're still not completely dry, be very careful to hold them straight, not to tilt them. Move the tiles onto the wood and then prepare more tiles. Here are the 30 tiles prepared with the glaze base. Leave them on the shelves to dry. Remember, when leaving the glaze base, you must stir it so it has no lumps and making a circular movement that gets smaller and smaller. Clean round the outside of the container. Put the lid on the basin and you're finished. Now you have to clean the backs and the sides. Take them down, put them face to face, starting on the bottom shelf. Pile up the ten tiles, five pairs, straight, and then continue until you have 30 tiles in three piles on the bar on the right. Here are all the tiles piled up to start cleaning. What you need is a bar of wood, a plastic finger and two bars of wood to keep them when they've been cleaned. Pick four tiles up, put them on their side and start to clean them. On the wood hold the four tiles up on their sides and with the plastic finger wipe off the glaze. Lift up the tiles, clean the wood, turn and finish the other edges. Put them on one side and go on cleaning all the tiles. Here all the sides of the 30 tiles have been cleaned. To clean you need a tin and two brushes, one that's very strong and one that's softer. Move two tiles onto the top of the tin. Clean the backs. First use the strong brush and brush outwards. Turn the pairs round and clean all the edges. Do the same with a softer brush as it leaves the tiles cleaner. Turn the pair over and clean the other side in the same way. Clean the backs of all of them and put them on the right. Now all the backs are cleaned. This is the last stage of preparing tiles. On your right you have all the tiles that have been cleaned. What you need is two bottles. One with clean water to level out part uneven parts and one with gla the glazed base to fill up holes. A plastic tool with a point for taking out foreign bodies, a paintbrush to repair tiles, a soft brush to dust off the loose glaze. On the left are two bars. The nearest is for the tiles that have to be repaired and the other is for the finished tiles. Pick up the tiles one by one, clean them with a soft brush and look at them carefully to see if anything needs, if there are any foreign bodies or anything needs repairing. This one is OK. Put it on the far board Pick the tile up and you can see that this base is damaged. Here. Fill it up with glaze. This has been mended, now put it on the right to dry. 
This has several little holes left by the air bowls in the glaze base. Fill them up with glaze. And leave to dry. On the top edge of the tile a small bit of glaze is missing. It will have to be repaired. Fill it up with glaze and leave it to dry. With this one, because there's a lot of glaze, scrape it off slightly. Damp the brush with water and smooth it down. Dust off all the surplus glaze and put it back on the bar. Pick up the last tile, scrape off and level out all the parts that have had glaze added. With a brush and water, smooth and level it out. Put it back on the bar and leave it to dry. Now the last ones have dried, pile them up and the cleaning is finished. These 14 tiles in the crank are the extra tiles and have been put here to dry. The bowl has the glaze base that was taken out of the container. You can see how the water and the glaze have separated. You can tip off the water and then put the glaze back in the container or keep it as it is and the next time you prepare glaze add it. Cover it with a piece of plastic and put it on one side to keep. These are the 16 tiles I'm going to decorate through the next videos. The next video will be on making a design for the 16 tiles I have prepared and this design will go through all the videos on decorating tiles. Now we finish cleaning the tiles. It's been boring, long, uninteresting work. Now, if you prepare a lot of tiles, it's definitely worth buying a foot cleaning machine. They're electric. You can find out more about them in my web under foot cleaning. I hope you find my videos useful and you enjoy as much using them as I do creating them. Thank you.